Yeah. What a lovely morning. Ah, yes. Hello. All right. Yeah. If we are on the uh, rising topic of elephants in a room, there's a band-aid on my chin. Why is there a band-aid on my chin? Well, guess what happened? Ah, uh, my nose is a day. Well, here's what happened. I made some hot tea and I wanted to drink something. Next thing you know, I took a sip and I was like, ooh, caution, hot. Next thing you know, I, I gotta find a way to have it cool down good enough. I wanted it to be cooled down fast, so I figured blowing on it would be easy. So, I got this cup, which is, by the way, I use this cup. So I took up this cup. So this is the cup that I was using. Okay. So I got done to mix it to sure and shake it up. There was nothing, nothing leaked out. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. So I got this lovely little Contigo cup right here. If you. So what happened here is I tried to blow on it. So how it happened is I wanted I took on it, get it close to my mouth. And I, and I tried to blow it as soon as, as soon as I was about to blow on it. Next thing you know, somehow the tea, before I was even bound to blow on it, the tea leaked out of the lid. I don't know how, but the tea leaked out and it spilled onto my chin. And it spilled, and as water physics goes, it spilled onto my chin and it spilled onto my chest. And I was like, oh great, I have a chin burn and I have a chest burn. And then I tried to uh, basically, uh, oh... Okay, I, I have, I have all this, uh, uh, you know, acne on me. So I figured, uh, I go ahead and try because of the burn. This should be easier for acne to get removed. So I try to figure out whatever solution is needed and necessary to profit off of this burn, and that backfired terribly. Anyway, so a lot of you guys are going ahead and there, and you're kind of like digging through all this. Uh, Consumer Electronic Show Hype Train uh, Boogie Woogie and uh, all that jazz. Fantastic. Yeah, everybody's digging through from left and right. Oh my goodness, we got, they're digging through all the new. Alright guys, let's all make it a super fun time and uh, yeah. Heck yeah. Which means because I'm bored out of my ass, we're going to be having fun, ladies and gentlemen. Having fun. F-U-N. Uh, it's going to be a super fun time video. So let's go and discover the world. Or let's go and, 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 and enjoy our day and whatever. Anyway, so a lot of you guys uh, got some rain. So yeah, uh, we, got, we got a good amount of rain. Let's go, let's go ahead and uh, do some nature shots, guys. Hello guys, I got that super ironic intro out of the way, a fantastic, uh, uh, well, we're ho well, hopefully we're all enjoying life, we're, we're all enjoying life, are we? Are we all enjoying life? Oh wait, this is a video, not a live stream. Okay, that's perfect. But however, I, I guess uh, I've came to the conclusion that there is some good news that has happened, and uh, let's go ahead and discuss the news that has happened uh, b between these two weeks, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's... Keep on going! Alright guys, let's get a refresher in there because this is what's going to be the start of this new story. If you guys remember Fate Excella the Umbral Star, it ended up getting localized last year. It was released in 2016 in Japan already, but it was later localized and released at the beginning of 2017. And I had a blast with that game. It was for the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation Vita. It got later ported to the Nintendo Switch. I had a fantastic blast with it. Uh, Tamamina Waifu is best caster. Well, guess what? There is a new Fate Extella title in the works, and it's going to be called Fate Extella Link. Now, a lot of you guys have gotten a hold of this news, 
back in late 2017, before 2017 it came to its conclusion. However, to basically recap this off, we got a hold of it, it was uh, for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita, no word on the Nintendo Switch version yet, I have no idea what's about to go down. But Fate Extella Link is going to get some new additional servants and is gonna definitely be, be it's gonna be definitely getting some huge visual upgrades that we're obviously seeing before us. However, more and more and more news have been recently uh, unveiled for the media, and guess what? The, in, according to an article on Gematsu.com, ladies and gentlemen. Gematsu.com, ladies and gentlemen, an article on Gematsu.com. There has been a huge news bomb related to Phoenix Stella Link. So thanks to these guys over at Gematsu.com. So far revealed to be the newly additions to the roster alongside to the as it said all of the servants that were there on Fate Extella, the Umbral Star. Hey, if you start in Fate Extella, the Umbral Star, uh, everyone who started in Fate Extella, the Umbral Star, is getting carried over to Fate Extella Link. And however, the new additional characters were revealed so far to be added to Fate Extella Link are Skathatch, Astolfo, Charlemagne, and Francis Drake. We're going to see a couple of Archer class servants being added. And we're going to see a couple of Berserker class of servants being added. And we're going to see an extra caster servant being added. And we're going to see an extra ruler servant being added. And those are the servants that are going to be hinted at being added to uh, Fate Extella Link. Alongside the new ones who they just revealed. So there's going to be more added to that roster. An extra ruler? Huh. That is weird. I gotta figure that out. Alright, if you guys played on, I guess we could say, Fate Extra, a lot of you guys may swear that Francis Drake may have gotten an entirely brand new outfit. Alright. Also, Nameless does also have a huge upgrades to his outfit, plus he does get that long white hair, his his white hair is so much longer to be reminiscent of a, of a very heavily experienced uh, uh, badass. Fate Extella Link's limited edition may come with a custom-made Mahjong tile set, and not only that, it could be pricey as hell as we speak. But, however, if you migrate your save from Fate Extella the Umbral Star into Fate Extella Link, you're going to be definitely getting the costume unlocks for Nero Claudius, uh, Artoria, we're going to be seeing that for Altera, we're going to be seeing that for Tamama no Waifu. So, yes, that's right. And, however, let's talk about the pre-order bonuses, because uh, when you pre-order the game in Japan, which the release date in Japan is June 7th of 2018, Okay, so if you go ahead and pre-order the game, the store, your Japanese retailer, is going to basically have some exclusive pre-order deals like, uh, like DLC outfits and basically merchandising like these acrylic stands and also these tight tapestries. Yeah, I got that right. Hello. Okay. But however, my favorite so far is uh, is that soft map Tamama no Waifu tapestry, that Tamama no Waifu Mizuki tapestry that you get when you pre-order at soft map. Holy smokes! I would like to see that tapestry get localized. Please localize this tapestry. Uh, this is this is this is fine quality waifu, man. Fine quality waifu, fine quality Mizuki. Mm. Now, a lot of you guys may not have heard of a cult classic called Yume Nigi. If you haven't heard of it, it's free to play online. It's definitely just go and check that game out because it is fun to enjoy. Well, however, it's going to be made more easier because AGM Playism has now decided to basically get a hold of Yume Nikki and have it re-released on the Steam market, of course, as free as it was made back then. So, it is free to play, 
and it is free to access. So You May Nikki is yours absolutely free. It was intended to be free in the first place and you can download that straight up. So You May Nikki has been published on Steam. And however, the creator of You May Nikki alongside Kadokawa has been teasing a new You May Nikki project. So, as a result, both him and Kadokawa may have dropped down a countdown timer web page for that secret project. Now, if you want to find that out, go to the Yume Nikki community hub over at your Steam. So, hit on that on that community hub, check out the post that says this countdown timer, click that link, and you'll be accessing that site there. So, this Yume Nikki hype train's gone. Crazy. So what the heck is Yume Nikki? Yume Nikki is uh, kind of like an exploration meets collect-a-thon thing. You're supposed to collect all of like the 23 to 24 effects and then basically drop them at the hub. And that's how you end up beating the game. Now, however, you do get treated to a to an ending that does hit you out of the bat. It does hit you right out of the bat and I'm not, I'm not spoiling too much. But, however, uh, Yume Nikki uh, had some... It was a very interesting... Uh, it was a very, very, very interesting game. If you haven't played it before, do check that out. Alright, guys, let's talk about the Consumer Electronics Show 2018. Let's talk about Retrobit, because Retrobit and uh, Sega have been said publicly on Retrobit's official Twitter that they are collaborating with working on stuff for the Sega Genesis, Sega Saturn, and Sega Dreamcast. Basically, what this collaboration brings in brings out a lot of accessories for the Sega Genesis, which was which ended up being revealed at the Consumer Electronics Show 2018 show floor. And one of the biggest things that ended up standing up and it was really catching my interest here is the Sega Genesis controllers by Retrobit. Of course, you do get the wired ones, and of course, the wired ones to plug onto your uh, PC. So, because if you have the uh, Sega Genesis and Mega Drive collection on Steam, that's a that's a good thing for you. Okay, now also let's get on to the real juiciest, the juiciest of juiciest parts, ladies and gentlemen. There is a wireless Sega Genesis controller, and guess what? Retrobit has also made a Bluetooth receiver to plug in the Sega Genesis to have with your wireless Sega Genesis gamepad. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, where is, where can we bring this up? Where can I bring this up? Oh my goodness, hold on. I, I don't have it with me at the moment, but however, with this, with this lovely, lovely Sega Genesis pad, oh yes, you know that six button thing? Not the three button, it's a six button sucker. Okay, it's wireless, and of course, like I said again, it. Oh, you can also get the wireless Bluetooth receiver to plug in your Sega Genesis. It is standing up. There was a reveal official by Retrobit on their official Twitter page. It is up out there, and it's looking pretty cool. We have no word on a price. We have no word on a release date, but hopefully as soon as we get... Uh, information uh, that would be nice.